What's up, guys? It's Ace. For all you guys that don't know me, I make Call of Duty videos. And today, I will be discussing probably the easiest way to get a nuke. Uh, now, the first step is to play in a party. Two people is okay, but the more the merrier. And right here, the game's starting. But as I was saying before, two people is okay like I'm playing right now. It's, it's going to be a little more difficult. You're going to need a little... If you're going to have two people, that player that's going to help you get a nuke, or if you're helping your friend get a nuke, you're going to have to be uh, patient. You're going to have to be also... Uh, along with patient, you're going to have to sacrifice yourself. Not sacrifice like die, but you might have to kill yourself for before they get the call on the chopper gunner but uh that's a different story we'll, we'll talk about that in a little bit right now I'm, I'm trying to pick them off coming through the airplane but uh i'm using the scar silenced with scavenger uh cold-blooded pro and ninja pro now the scar from what i just found out in this uh after the, after playing this game uh, I just found out that the Scar is probably the most overpowered gun in this game. I mean, the clip, the clip obviously isn't the best, but that for the damage and accuracy that it has, that it's like tied with the Tar and AK-47 for the most damage in the uh, assault rifle class. It just dominates. I mean, the silencer gives it a little bit more of an added recoil, but it doesn't really bounce around it just maybe pops up like a UMP when you shoot it pops up like a, like a half an inch up but you know I mean what else can you ask for from the assault rifle that's silenced I mean with the scar you can use any second perk if you use stopping power it becomes like a three shot kill here uh, I get my Harriers and this is when it starts the hardest part to get a nuke here is basically the seven kill streak. You just need your teammate to get the UAV, and the counter UAV is for right now. They need to use three, four, and they can use any other kill streak they want. But three UAV to help you get the seven, and four to shield the the Harrier. And if they have another one, to shield the chopper gunner. But now, as you see, my Harrier is getting kills. That is because uh, my hair is being shielded by the counter UAV. Now on the map, it as you guys know, it shows where the uh, enemy air support is. It shows where the Harrier is, so they can easily look up that direction, take out a stinger and shoot it. But most people rely on their radar way too much. So when you take out their uh, uh, map, they're just stranded and by the time they try to look up and take it out they're dead same as the chopper gunner this is why it's good to have more than one person because most people wouldn't kill themselves to try and get another four kill streak for you but if they do then you have one hell of a friend but uh here you would call another counter uav to shield the chopper gunner and that's what my uh, friend does right here he calls another counter uav but uh, later on, unfortunately, the counter UAV runs out and one person takes out a chopper gunner. But basically, the hardest part to get a nuke by using this strategy is to get the 7 kill streak. And that can be done real easily by, uh, if your uh, teammate is using UAVs and he gets you a couple UAVs to work with. So you use the UAVs to get the 7, and then from 7, you use the counter UAV to shield the Harrier, which, in my opinion, the Harrier is probably the most overpowered kill streak. Now, after the chopper gunner, I, I don't know if it went away or got shot down. Uh, I'm not sure about that. I think it went away, but uh, last I checked from the chopper gunner, they're all here by A spawn. So I shoot that guy, and he gets out, but... I don't want to stay here since I have n no bullets, so I reload and run out. And uh, 
This is why it's good to have cold blooded. So no one gets a UAV. See, see, they see someone uh, somewhere in the map, like when they're not around their team, and they can throw a semtex or shoot you. So they don't know where you are. And harpy tensors cannot detect you because of ninja. So uh, it's basically a foolproof class. And uh, as you guys can see, I'm sitting here. You can say it's camping. I really don't think so, but I'm trying to get the uh, other four kills. I just got one right there. I'm trying to get the other three kills. Cause, and here, pausing to see the uh, UAV. I get the kill over there. But the reason why I'm uh, standing up here is because uh, we're staying right next to the uh, lot, uh, yeah the detectors. Is because no one spawns there. As you see, I get really lucky right there. Two noob tubes come my way. And right now, uh, I'm trying to get everyone to cover me because I need one more kill. So I run up there. I'm just waiting for that last one. But I'm standing by the metal detectors because... Uh, Basically, no one spawns there. Uh, sometimes, if you guys know, uh, Infinity Ward made that one person at a random would spawn next to the enemy spawn after a couple of minutes of the game. But as here I get my nuke, as I said in my previous videos, I like to call my tactical nuke as soon as I get it. And I'm just celebrating a little bit. But basically that's that's the easiest way to get a nuke once again it's the uavs to get the harrier your teammates provide the uavs and the counter avs shield the harriers and then if you have another counter av it shields the chopper gunner and i assure you you will have a tactical nuke thanks for watching hope you guys enjoyed peace